Hey everybody, it's Monday. I had a traumatic weekend dealing with the Google and the changes that they've made to the commenting and whatnot. I'm trying to cope because I don't think little old lowly me will be able to submit enough feedback to the Google to have them revert back to the old commenting method. So I think I just have to cope and to move on. There's one thing that I like about it, um, and that is that my Google Plus page, all this terminology is so exotic, um, is just my YouTube people. It's just my YouTube friends, so I can comment more. I don't comment and play on Facebook because I don't want a merging of the groups. So that's one thing. But it was very traumatic because I spent a lot of time trying to come up to speed. And all it did was succeed in making me feel like a little old lady. In fact, a cranky little old lady. Because it's a very weird system. And I don't think it's user-friendly. It makes me feel that as time goes by, it's more difficult for me to come to terms with electronic changes. Do you want to see the scarf that I was doing? I finished it. I am okay. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know that it's big enough this way because it's supposed to fit like this. And these aren't very long. It's because my neck is fat. And I didn't have enough yarn to do the scalloped edge that was supposed to be around all of the edge, but I crocheted bound off and I put that little scallop there, which is, I don't know, like a growth. But anyway, there's my scarf. My sock, I finished my sock. Look at the mess. I've started the second sock here, as you can see, and this popped out of the inside of the ball. And ooh, it's a crisis, but you know, it's not as traumatic as the Google. So here's my sock that I finished. And it's going to go, look how nicely it's going to go with my purple shoe. <laughs> Pat just laughs and shakes his head. This is not blue. It's purple. And it's like a honeycomb pattern all here in purple. I like my shoe. Okay, so that's the sock and the new sock with the mess. And what else can I tell you? I went to my dentist today for, what, the fifth time in four weeks because I'm in the process of having a new crown put in. And it's done. My dentist is new. You've heard me talk about my dentist before. Um, since I was 17, I had the same dentist, Dr. Snellgrove. And, well, I grew up with him. Basically, use my mother's dentist and mine, and um, I've nobody else has ever touched my teeth until two years ago. And now I have this frenetic young woman, uh, her name is Yasmin, and she's very, she has a good sense of humor. So I came in, and there she's standing there, and I said to her, Happy Birthday Week, because I knew it was her birthday on Friday. And she looked at me, big eyes, 
And she says, how did you know it was my birthday? And I said, I know everything. And um, <laughs> anyway, it, she's just she's just funny with stuff like that. Anyway, I'm sitting in the chair and she says to me, do you want freezing? And I said, not if I don't need it. Like she says, well, probably three quarters of my patients have freezing when I put the crowns on. And I said, how long is it going to take? And she says, maybe 10 minutes. And I said, I'm a woman. I can endure 10 minutes of tooth pain. Just do it. So it took about 15 minutes and it was just sensitivity when she sprayed and washed the tooth because uh, it's exposed nerves. But anyway, she's going on with all of this stuff and she says to me, do you want to see your tooth before I put it in? And I said, sure. And she, I said, uh, is it purple? Just, you know, flat out like that. And she says to me, without even a pause in her breath, she looks at me and she says, no, it's red. This is the week of red crowns. <laughs> just... So she brings the crown out and I said, have you seen, ever seen anything more beautiful than that? And of course, it's a little sort of gray tooth matching the color of my teeth, which aren't neon white. <laughs> anyway, it's done and the tooth is in and feels a little odd right now, but I was hoping for popcorn in a movie this afternoon, but she said, don't, uh, not for a bit. So that was that. That's all I've done. I did pop into the toy store to see if I could find the toy that I was looking for for a newborn, and I can't, so that's the end of that. I guess I'll crochet or knit a booty. Um, I talked to Judy Mistriglo on Friday afternoon on FaceTime, and that was lovely. We should do that more often. And I talked to Melissa Imperceptible Me last night because, you know, James, our James, Melissa's husband, wasn't well and had a little heart scare and was in the hospital for three or four days. And that was also part of my traumatic weekend because I worried about him. You know, You know, James is very special. And it was upsetting me to think of him suffering in a hospital. But I gather from what Melissa said that he's back to being pink and purdy. That's a direct quote, just in case you thought. I might say that about James. You know, it's difficult when you have a crush on someone doesn't just go away, you know. Anyway, James is better, thank goodness. That's it, that's all.